Hello, everybody. We got a big update from a man who's been radio silent for most of this year. Streamer Atrioc um, has given an official statement on his actions that he has taken to make right after he was caught looking at deep fake porn um, just a little over a month ago. Now, Atrioc came out yesterday and addressed his original apology. Um, saying that he wish he was in a better headspace at the time to make the apology and that he did not um, really like his original apology stream and was not very helped by how it was then uh, taken and reacted to. So that was kind of his first um, address. He then addresses the actions that he has taken. So it Shark disclosed that he has made a $60,000 payment to Morrison Rothman, which is a legal firm, in order to cover the cost of DMCA takedown requests by women on Twitch. Um, these are, you know, the same type of, these are takedowns for the same type of content that It Shark, uh, of course, got uh, busted for. That, so, you know, he's trying to make right. And he basically breaks down the timeline of what he's been doing um since he was caught in february so first he got in con he ended up getting in contact with a reporter by the name of genevieve who specializes in exposing researching and taking down uh deep fakes and trying to get this content off of the internet off of you know the public forum as much as possible which she gives great thanks to her um, because it allowed him to kind of take the steps of what she would do later so while trying to find some of his uh, former staff and former uh, editors, um, because, you know, he was out of work, they weren't making any money, he's trying to find them places to work, um, he meets up with a man by the name of Austin, who is a head over at Truffle. Truffle being um, sort of like better TTV, um, but is like kind of like a competitor to them. Um but he, Austin, introduces him to another man who is an investor um, and sort of like higher up at this company in Ireland known as Caritas DMCA. Um, the man in question being Dan Purcell. I'm not going to get into a, a deep dive into the actual like technology and stuff behind what uh, Caritas uh, does. Um, if you want to see that, I can do a video. Just let me know in the comments and I'll, you know research do some research into it look it up make a video on it um but the tldr of it is they basically use ai to fight ai um using bots to sort of scour the internet to find this unwanted content to find these deep fakes um and get dmca requests uh, are filled out and get takedowns uh made so that this content can be taken off of the internet um hrock you know, decided to go with these people after kind of learning more about them and also learning the fact about the fact that only fans, which those creators obviously deal with um, very similar issues. Only fans uses Caritas as one of their primary uh, creator safety uh, organizations. And the fact that they were partner or that Caritas was partnered with uh, Google, who is obviously very important because Google is the ones who are sort of, you know, housing these sites, housing uh, this content. And so after learning about these, he then goes out and tries to reach out to a bunch of uh, different creators and mostly gets kind of turned down for very obvious reasons. However, one creator um, did give him the benefit of the doubt here, Maya Higa, who sort of empathized, thought, you know, okay, he's trying to do good. You know, I'll, let's, let's give him a chance to see how this goes. And when I say that his that the success of this program is like extraordinary, you're not even fucking gonna believe. In twelve hours, in the test uh, for my Higa, in twelve hours, for a tenth of the cost, they got five hundred and twelve takedowns and one thousand one hundred and forty uh, reports. For reference, the sixty thousand that he spent um intern or with daniel and rothman uh, that i mentioned earlier or with morrison rothman that i mentioned earlier um that sixty thousand got 51 takedowns 
very very big difference um extremely big difference such a big difference think about this in 12 hours they got more takedowns than a single takedown from morrison rothman it took 13 hours to get or on average to get one takedown uh through morrison rothman to sort of get these uh, dmcas you know out and about and this was all for a tenth of the cost so very big uh you know very big dub very big win in terms of uh getting this out and so after that success um he reached out to cutie cinderella who if you've been living under a rock has been sort of working with or working mostly on uh planning the streamer awards getting all that stuff figured out and worked with her um and cutie um you know was busy and reached out to him uh you know responded to him was like you know what sure let's let's get this let's like get this set up uh let's let's test this out um because my higas was such a success let's test out and in a single day they got 700 takedowns which is amazing very good work um and atrock has and atrock mentioned and went on and said how he was continuing to show like continuing to try and make the rights on his on his wrong he is trying to do good trying to you know fix the issue as best as he possibly can um even in spite of how like fiscally draining this kind of is on his current financial situation with him not making any money from youtube or twitch because he's just not been streaming on twitch which directly impacts both uh, parts of the business so with that he said that he is because of the success he's gotten about 19 um fellow or 19 other female creators who will also sort of be in the like testing getting this thing done seeing if this is like maybe more effective um and get the content that was you know not very good taken off taken off the internet and delisted uh from google which she says will quote create friction um end quote in finding these sites as much as humanly possible since it's unfortunate because of the internet um that this will basically kind of just be a thing that unfortunately is like a thing that we have to more or less deal with so where do we go kind of uh, moving forward uh with hr he has said that he will continue to work on trying to combat deepfakes um, especially in the areas of technology, research, and uh, coverage in order to sort of pressure some legislature to make a push to action, which is how, you know, we can get a more definitive, like, push and censorship on, you know, defake and get that stuff taken off the internet because that's not, you know, not something that can be done. And based off of the numbers and, you know, cost analysis of kind of what he has been doing, um, it seems like it is a very uh, effective, like this uh, Caritas uh, DMCA here is being is a very effective tool in order to get this accomplished. Um, another figure was he said that Pokimane got set up and it was like two thousand takedowns in like a matter in like less than a day, something crazy. He said it was like something crazy like that. Um, so it does seem like Atriok is making a sort of good push which is always nice to see. Um, I, in my last video, said, you know, if he continues to kind of do this stuff, like, it will prove how, like, a genuine he is about his apology, and it will be a net benefit for everyone. And it's a good that, you know, he is, ma like, he's making right on the promises that he made, uh, you know, to his viewers, to the internet, to get this content uh, removed, and to try and, like, repair, repair some of the damage that has been caused, uh, more or less. Um, he then finishes before the internet problems, which kind of plagued most of his like up update stream that he did. Um, that some of the leftover money that was uh, from Morrison Rothman, that he is taking some of that and going after now um, some of this content that is per more pervasive on Reddit, which is a way bigger, way more complex issue. Um, to try and like sift through going through and, and getting these takedowns um, on, on that site. 
Um, so that seems to be like that will, uh, along with getting, you know, more creators signed up uh, with Caritas DMCA, trying to get them like all, uh, you know, s- sorted and settled, uh, trying to get, you know, specific actions taken on Reddit uh, seems to be the next play. Um, there was no update on, you know, whether he would be doing um, any like content in the future um, or any of that in case you were curious. He just kind of came in, did an update, thanked a couple people um, for, you know, extending the olive branch to try and help him, you know, make right on what he did. Um, so, yeah, that, that's that's basically the story here. Um, you know, salutes, salutes to you. Have a good one. Um, I will see you in the next video.